مرحبا بكم في تونس مرحبا بكم في تونس ويلكم تو تونيزيا So many people don't realize just how close this country is to Italy yeah. here in the Mediterranean. And because of that, Tunisia has some of the most well-preserved Roman ruins on earth. As you can see, we are not here in Rome, <laughs> but we are at a Colosseum and specifically the third largest Colosseum, about two and a half hour drive south of Tunis here at El Gem. El, El Gem. Yeah. I think. El Gem. <laughs> and yeah, so far it's been such a beautiful time. If you watched our vlog yesterday in Tunis, just an amazing country so yes, far. Yes, very impressed. And today we're gonna explore more of the historical aspects of this country, a little bit more hidden gems, starting here with this gorgeous Colosseum and document everything along the way, because maybe it's even better than Rome, but we'll mm -hmm. see, so let's explore. could house 35,000 spectators but today I think we've seen like 20 people it's crazy how empty it is for how big of a monument we've been to the one in Rome and it was completely packed but look at this we have the place to ourselves in the coastal town of Monastir, specifically in the Ribat, which is basically an Arab castle. And this specific one is the biggest and the oldest in all of Africa. Yeah. And oh my gosh, I'm so impressed yeah. already. It was built apparently in like the 700s, yeah. but it looks, it's like super well, well preserved. preserved. Yeah, it's so it new. It looks so new, clean cut. Yeah, it's an extremely impressive building and you see it kind of as you're driving in, it's like, it's kind of like shocking to see. Yeah, the whole town of Monastery was built on Roman ruins of what it used to be a city. And it was like what, 16, or was it like eight dinar per person? Yeah. Which we'll put the USD here. Yes. Um, as we've seen here, very, very affordable here. And barely anyone around. Yeah, as, as well. usual, typical here. <laughs> look. Look, there's no one else in this entire castle. Yard, yeah. So. Yeah, it's been amazing. You can see the history here and the beauty. So we're gonna explore and hopefully get up to the tower where there's supposed to be a really nice view yeah. of the sea. So let's go. <laughs> Yay! A really nice area and they took us up to this very nice uh, cafe here and recommended that we try this kind of more traditional Tunisian drink called Te Opinion. Te Opinion. Te Opinion. And they're going to explain. Okay, so what is it exactly? It's like small beans. Uh, yeah. Like almonds. You can put it on the tea. It's uh, We use it on our weddings or everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, let me taste. Yeah. <laughs> what does it taste like? Mm, it's sweet. I thought it would be tasteless it's mix, like corn. It's a mix of sweet and salty. For me, it's just sweet. <laughs> it's just sweet. <laughs> but mm, I could, I could see this being a good snack. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Lena, how do we kind of prepare a cup? Would you mind preparing yeah. a cup for us? Uh, okay, yeah. Here. Okay. I tasted the salty now. By the <laughs> yeah, way, yeah, I told you. <laughs> And this oh. is green tea? Yeah, green tea. Mm. Ah, okay. Here you go. <laughs> Beautiful. Gotcha. So green tea with the mint and then the pignon. Wow. Yeah. And do you, do you like need to let it sit for a certain amount of time? Oh no, my you gosh. can drink it and then drink and eat it. Drink and eat it? Yeah. So oh. in a way, kind of like, like boba tea. 
a little bit, kind of. The Arabic version of that. Arabic boba tea. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Tunisia. <laughs> So this guy came up and started arguing, telling us that we can't be here on this beach because it's private, even though it's part of our hotel. We've been going back and forth, so I think we're just going to go to dinner. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. Here at, what's the name of the restaurant? Uh, Pirates. Pirates. And they ordered this amazing Tunisian feast that I'm super excited to try, but we're going to have Lena explain what it is. Everything looks amazing. Okay. Okay, well, this is the <coughs> kamunia. Kamunia, which With is octopus. Octopus, yeah. yeah. And this is the green salad, Tunisian salad. And this is the uh, rice salad. And this is the calamari salad. Mm -hmm. Calamari. And this is brick. That's what I'm most excited for, yeah. Yeah. And this is, where is it? Gofta. This one is like smashed uh, fish. Oh, man. And they smashed fish. Oh, yeah. yeah. Smells good. Yeah. And this is, I think this is uh, cheese. Yeah. Yeah, it's cheese. It's cheese. Mm. Cheese yeah. with the fish. That was oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And prawns. We skipped it. Next round is uh, fish. Ah, okay, yeah. there's a next round yeah. that they're gonna bring some fish, so wow. cannot yeah. wait to try these treats for sure. I am going to try Kamanir Bukarnet, which is like this stew, and specifically it's stew with octopus. So, according to our locals here, the proper way to eat it is take some bread, dip, and then I'm gonna eat with some of the octopus. Well, I'll be off of it. Yeah, I'll keep this spoon. Very good. Very, very good. It reminds me a little bit of an American chili, but American chili with seafood. And I love chili. So this, as well as all the other Tunisian food we've had, very, very good. I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> they brought up the whole ocean. <laughs> so it's uh, fish fries, obviously. Fish and... This is dastira, dastira or gafteji. Bistera? Bistera. Yes, and that's wow. it then, then we're done. And <laughs> okay. we have okay. three more courses. Yes. As I was eating the fish, I saw inside that there's all this like seasoning, like already inside of the fish, they kind of stuff in there, but it's really flavorful really, really good, and fish here is big in Tunisia, so I'm really, even though we're so full, I'm so glad that we're trying this. Cheers! That dinner was massive. <laughs> it was but so good. Yeah, it's uh, Tunisian food. It's like a great mix of, like it's delicious, but also healthy. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the side of the Mediterranean, you know, we know about Greek food, Italian food, even some Spanish food, or Lebanese, yeah. but like Tunisian doesn't really get credit, and it should because yes. yeah, couscous and chicken and fresh fish and all of that. Oh wow, yes. that was good. What an amazing time and it was so great. I'm so glad that we were able to kind of spend some of this adventure with locals. Yes. That oh always makes it better. That made it 1000% better. The whole totally. experience, not only they are amazing people and we're so glad we made friends, but Honestly, Wonderful the, people, yeah. experiencing their country with them, it was just amazing. Yeah, and we noticed this, not just Lena and Wael, Hopefully got that right. <laughs> but uh, many locals, as we're going through all throughout Sidi Busaid and the Medina and Tunis and all throughout all of Tunisia very would funny. stop us. Yeah, and just like give us tips and yeah. oh, how are you liking our country? Oh, I'm so glad to hear, you know, very, very friendly, very totally, kind. Totally, totally, yeah. Because we didn't know what to expect coming into Tunisia. Like, you know, culturally, like, you know, I don't know, there's at this time that there's a big kind of Palestine-Israel conflict. I'm American, like, is there any problem? I don't know, yeah. but no, people were great. Food was amazing. Very inexpensive. Yes, and and yeah. in terms of like the day that we had was yeah. just so worth it. We didn't know if we we're going to feel safe. It was going to be easy traveling yeah. like around Tunis, but it was very easy. Like yeah. a renting, little bit of it was kind of tough. The congestion in like Tunis. downtown Tunis, like yeah. getting out from like the busiest part, was a bit stressful. We also went 
not during like a super early time. Like if you leave really early or late, you know, less traffic. Yeah. That was a bit stressful getting out. But then once you're out of like the city, which is pretty quick. Yeah. It's so easy. easy to drive, like no problems at all. Just a lot of roundabouts for some a reason. A lot of round. Oh my no gosh, you're right. Traffic there's lights. no traffic lights. Yeah. It's a bit of that, that organized chaos of like there's the roundabouts yeah. and stuff, but but it, was but it so wasn't worth that bad it because we had the freedom of stopping whenever we wanted, yeah. of spending as much time as we wanted at each place. The Coliseum was amazing. The Ribad, the Mausoleum, everything. Yeah. And if we were on the tour. You're kind of like constricted to the tourist timing and all that. We always, as a little tip, not just for Tunisia, love to drive ourselves, then go on a tour. Yeah. So much better. Instead of being crowded and they force you into places, and usually tours don't go to the best places. Yeah. They go to the easiest places or the most touristy places, not necessarily the best. And if you see something along the road, you're like, oh, let's stop. Well, you can't if you're on a yeah. tour. But it's all good. Either way, you're gonna have a great time. And what a unique country. Seriously, yeah. like, especially with the Rabat, the Monastir area where, where there's that Rabat, there's the mausoleum. I, I prefer that actually over uh, Tunis. Yeah, Monastir, we liked it too. It's like more chill. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's unlike anything. I've ever been to before, and maybe that's just me being in the West. But, but needless to wow. say, oh my we gosh. definitely want to go back to Tunisia. Seriously, Tunisia is so small. Yeah. We went to quite a few places, and there's so much more to see. And then it also made us really want to see Algeria, sort of like the sister country yeah. to Tunisia. A lot of cultural similarity, but like on, underrated, underhyped, gorgeous, inexpensive, good people, safe. Yeah. Like it, the weather's great. It checks all the boxes yeah. for an amazing vacation or travel destination. So yeah, yes. and that's our honest opinion. If it was different, we would tell you, but really glad to say that we love Tunisia. So glad that you were able to join us along this adventure because we loved having you and hope you enjoyed it. Be yeah. sure to check out our full adventures through Tunisia to the Medina, uh, to Sidi Busaid, as well as where we are now here in Kenya, as well as Namibia, Ethiopia, South Africa, <laughs> all around Africa and the world. We would love to have you join us. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll be including full playlists in the description section below. So as always, thanks so much for watching. God bless you and your travels. We look forward to seeing you in the next adventure. Bye. Bye.